I take it you have concerns. I can think of a few. You're only escalating matters. You expect us to believe you're going to fight your own children? I can't deny my responsibility for what Valen and Arkin have become. I have to end their bloodshed. What did you see in Valkorion that you had children with him? You say he was a homicidal tyrant, but that isn't the man I knew. He was benevolent, wise, even kind. At least at first. We never agreed on how the children should be raised, and over time he became more and more distant. More cold. I was afraid for what the children would become. But when I decided to leave, they chose him. I couldn't force them. You've been lying to us all this time. Now you give us this woe is me story and we're supposed to take your word for it? You don't have to take my word. You can ask the Immortal Emperor himself. I am not him. I am myself. When Valkorion was in charge, he wasn't fixated on waging war. If we can get him back on the throne... Valkorion is a world devourer. He brought direction and stability to Zakul. Trust me, Koth, you don't know him like I do. No. You don't know him like I do. Neither of you know him like I do. Try sharing a little less. That... that isn't what I meant. Interruption. The Republic Astromech has established contact. T7, what does he have for us? Report. A criminal meatbag on Zakul has been in search of the gravestone. This Lady of Sorrows alleges she can establish a dialogue with its computers. Lady of Sorrows? Good luck with her. I take it she's trouble. She's an information broker. Acts as her own enforcer. Never apprehended. So yes, trouble. She operates in Zakul's Old World District. I know it better than anyone. I'll escort you. I have a feeling we will find things to talk about on the way. One or two. It's worth a try, this Lady of Sorrows. But I'd like a word before you leave. Who thought the Lady of Sorrows would be the key to figuring you out? Destiny calls. You kept an important truth hidden from me, even when I feared something was off. That cannot be the way we do things. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, that your intentions are as you say. I'd like you to do the same for others. Not an easy task. Koth believes in Valkorion. Senya withheld vital information. Neither one trusts the other. That's why you must act as an example. You really think they're trustworthy? I'm too much of a realist for absolute trust. Especially after Zyost, but I know their intentions are sound. May the Force serve you well out there. An infestation. If they'd grown any bigger, we'd have more to worry about than spotty power. We should check the rest of the ship. Courtesy, I will take it upon myself to eradicate these hostile stowaways, masters. Once I have gathered additional munitions, I will scour the ship from top to bottom. Whoa, 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 easy! I can have you blasting through the hole left and right. Appeasement. I can employ knives and blunt force instruments instead. Would that make you feel safer? Not really. Next time, you're on cleanup detail. I love the hand of
Korean's first attempt at creating a grand society. A failed attempt. Only in scale. To him, it wasn't nearly grand enough. I want to know more about your relationship with Valkorion. The story really isn't as outlandish as whatever you're imagining. We met after I earned a place in his elite guard. I never hesitated to speak my mind, which caught his attention, I suppose. He was fascinating bold. Always completely certain of his next step. The way you describe him, I can't blame you for taking an interest. You also have to understand his place in our culture, our psychology, our entire conception of ourselves. He guided Zakul's prosperity for generations, centuries. What we had wasn't a child's notion of romance, but we were happy. Then Arkin and his brother Thaxon were born. I loved them so much. But no matter what I did, they wanted nothing to do with me. And Valkorion wanted nothing to do with them. His mind was somewhere else. He barely spoke. Barely acknowledged any of us for weeks at a time. And then... Valen. Valen was troubled from the start. Was she really dangerous, even as a child? She made furniture move while she was still in the womb. Tore droids apart as a toddler. Once a guard dropped a ball she tossed, Valen crippled him. I confronted Valkorion. His daughter needed help. His sons needed him. His solution was to cage Valen's mind. Most of her power was locked away, along with most of who she was. He ignored the rest of us outright. I couldn't stand by and watch. I gathered the children. I tried to tell them we needed to go. They laughed and called me weak. Even as children, even with Valen's power restraint, the three of them together were still far more powerful than me. I couldn't force them to go. So, I left. Did Valkorion try to stop you from leaving? No. I'm not sure he even noticed. I transferred to the Knights Enforcement Division and took assignments at the outer fringes of our empire. Valkoria never spoke another word to me. Since then, I've only seen my children in broadcasts of public events, like Thexen's funeral, killed in the Core Worlds. I doubt they even remember me. Hello, little one. T7, what do you have for us? <coughs> the Lady of Sorrows is wanted for murder and theft of state secrets, among other charges. The knights have hunted her for years. No one's come close. They aren't me. I'll find her. With my help, I don't doubt it. You may not believe this, but it's rare for someone to escape a knight's justice. And when that someone is the knight's own child? We'll find out, won't we? Could I... Is it possible for me to talk to him? To Valkorion? I don't think it works that way, exactly. Lots of things live down here. Few of them friendly. We should be careful. Update. 
extermination efforts aboard the Gravestone have been slower than anticipated, Master. It seems quite unnecessary that I clean up the creature's remains. They clearly serve as an effective warning to other potential stowaways. But Master Votena was quite insistent, so the ship will be quite clean upon your return. This is the old world as most Zakulans know it. A place to mingle with the rabble and then go home to brag about it. One big party. I have a contact nearby. Need to go alone. Don't keep me waiting. Won't be long. I had always intended to visit the old world. I thought I would have the time. Delightful. You couldn't have mentioned Senya was the mother of your children. I wanted to see what she would do. In the end, she chose to place her trust in you and your associates. That wasn't an act of trust. As far as she knew, Heskel would have said something. Cynical. If that's what you choose to believe, I cannot stop you. Priority call for High Justice Phelan. She'll want to know who I just spotted. I'm on my way. Wrong. Cultists longing for the return of a mythical serpent god. Used to be they were just a nuisance. Now they're militant. Good show! Absolutely wonderful! Did you provoke them? No. They were sent after me by someone in this room. There you are. Sicking heralds on me, Reg? Not too bright. Uh, it wasn't me. The heralds run the old world now. They made a deal. With Arkin? What kind of deal? Heralds keep crime down and the knights keep out. You stick around, they'll blame it on me. You gotta go. Tell me where to find the Lady of Sorrows first. Some kind of joke, right? I'll take my lumps from the heralds over the Lady any day. And where do I fit on that list? What? <laughs> you know what I can do, Reg. Need another reminder? No answer? I'll assume yes. Wait a minute, wait! 
I was going to say, you don't want to mess with the lady. Then I was going to say, but hey, that's your prerogative. You've always been square with me. I'll be square with you. Don't got to hit me. Where is she? I, I don't know. But, but I do know who to talk to. There's a data seller at Market Station, Mona Gale. She works with the lady all the time. Mona Gale. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go. Guess who I found? The Outlander? Right under our noses in the old world. Alone? Oh, no. That's the best bit. Mother is here, too. Shouldn't we go say hello? Why would they escape only to return? Let them do what they came here for. I'll see that they don't dawdle. Come on, hit him! Hit him! You are kidding me! Sixteen thousand, Mr. Winden. Six in a row. Random matchups. You have to have an in, Mona. Tell me. Enough data at your disposal and anything's possible. Want to see if seven's your lucky number? Scamming citizens isn't legal, Mona Gale. I'm not scamming anyone. And knights have no authority here. Yes, you are. And I don't care. The Lady of Sorrows. Where is she? If I knew where to find my most lucrative, reclusive, and dangerous meal ticket, I wouldn't give that up for one night and whatever you're supposed to be. She asked a question. Asked and answered. Thanks. Have a great one. People of Zahul, this is your emperor. Hear me. This should be good. The criminal who plunged our great spire into darkness and chaos has finally been identified. The craven outlander who assassinated your immortal emperor, my dear father, has escaped custody and remains at large, aided by a rogue knight of Zagul. These deadly agitators were last sighted in the old world. If you encounter them, contact an authority figure immediately. So, so where were we? You were about to tell them where to find the Lady of Sorrows. Except I can't. I really can't. I don't even know how to reach her. She only ever contacts me. Oh, but she does occasionally meet with the Heralds in Breaktown. They have some kind of truce. That's the best I can do. Just don't agitate us. Thanks for cooperating. By sending you there? Sure. Whatever, it's your funeral. Breaktown's the underbelly of the underbelly. No mingling there. Only corruption and torment. You know, we might owe Arkin a thank you for unintentionally helping us. That announcement really brought you some clout. If this is unintentional help, I'd hate to see what it looks like when it's on purpose. This is it. Breaktown. The people who fall on hard times keep falling. Even when the knights policed the old world, we never lingered around here for very long. I can see why. I know where the Heralds are headquartered, but they won't give up any information willingly. Even zealots have their breaking points. That they do. They seem determined to meet you. No, I told them Breaktown, but that's all. Like, I want to get on your bad side. You, Gale. 
You've seen the fugitives. Come on, you know how this works. You give credits, I give information. We know they were sent here. Tell us everything, or end up like your associate. What associate? I believe his name was Reg something. You know who I work for. And you know who we work for. Update. I am determined that the industrial strength cleansers that Master Vatena insisted upon using are, in fact, highly lethal when applied to the infesting creatures directly. This revelation should accelerate my completion of the task considerably, Master. A lot of firepower standing between us and their leader. They call him the Exalted. Arkin put him in charge here, but he's little more than a servant, and not a sane one. About time you got here. Cough? T7 told me you were headed into Breakdown. Figured the rest for myself. Didn't think there was a scenic route to get here. What in Skyva's name are you doing here? Couldn't trust us to get the job done? I didn't stay ahead of you all those years by trusting the wrong people. No offense, Outlander. You at least, I want to trust. So let me clue you in. The Exalted hates Knights. He won't say one word to Senya. I'll make him talk. Look, I'm regular people. I speak their language. You want to make a deal with the Heralds? I'm your man. They're delusional thugs. There's no deal to be made. It's clear you two can't work together. Senya, you're with me. Cough, keep your ears open. You're making a mistake. Thank you, Outlander. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. I take it you're king of the crazy people. Blatant disrespect in our house of worship. You only make it easier for us to do what must be done. You cannot be allowed to remain in the old world. Your presence threatens the order we have fought to maintain. Order, but not justice. You let criminals thrive. Prey on the weak. You're monsters. The true crime is cultivating a society dominated by ineffectual fools who have never known adversity. And you... I have terms with Emperor Arkan. No knights. Get us a meeting with the Lady of Sorrows. And then you'll leave? Is that what you propose? There is no proposal. Do it. By that she means, do it or we kill you. Yes, I did get the full extent of her meaning. Curious. What could you want from her, I wonder? What makes it worth the risk of coming here? I get the feeling you wouldn't mind seeing Arkan off the throne. If you think you can defeat him, I have no qualms. Arkan gave us power, then implemented so many restrictions that we are in many ways powerless. And he has sapped the very spirit from Zakul. Most don't even realize. But his undoing, it cannot be at your hands. Why not? Valkorion's fall, Arkan's rise. It all conforms to prophecy. You do not. Are you in compliance? Or does this have to go another way? By Zildrog's grace, I do enjoy your vigor. But when our great serpent returns, he will rain death upon Zakul and cleanse it of all that is wrong, including the likes of you. On my mark! Exalted. I'm busy! The Lady of Sorrows demands your attention now. I've never seen a species like that before. Your grip on the old world has become a stranglehold. You continue to act counter to the Lady's interests, most recently with the murder of our contractor, Mona Gale. This can wait. I have company. The lady has decided to renegotiate the terms of your agreement. We made a deal! 
And now, you will agree to a new deal. Father! Brennan! Release him at once! Come to the Razor. You and the Lady can discuss your son's future. And you! The Lady would like to speak with you as well. You could have reached out earlier. Saved me a lot of trouble. We prefer caution over haste. Your identity had to be double confirmed, and your motives made known. The Lady of Sorrows is fully aware of who you are. Outlander. And now she also knows what you're after. They want me to tell you I'm okay, which I am. So that's that. Under no circumstances are you to kill the Outlander. Understood? Understood. Kill the Outlander. You're unworthy of the Dragon's Fire! of the infestation aboard the gravestone, Master. Recommendation. You may wish to acquire 30 to 40 gallons of industrial cleanser while you're in the spire. Our stocks have been somewhat depleted. I knew I would find you. And you are? I am not amused. You escaped lawful imprisonment, then ordered your friend to kill my partner. You're going to pay. Stand down, Novo. You stand down, traitor. You abandoned your scion brethren. Who's the real traitor? I'm glad we risked coming to the old world. Now we get credit for neutralizing two criminals. What panic! You'll get no mercy from me! Name of Orchid, surrender! I don't need to be a scion to see your epitaph. Here lies the Outlander, who brought disorder and ruin to Zakul. You won't even merit an epitaph. He's beaten. Defenseless. He's nobody. What will you do when it's Arkham's turn? Please, don't! I know what has to be done. The Heralds had a head start. Be ready for anything. We could be stepping out into a minor war. Or a trap. Orkoth's entrails on display. 
Not that I'm hoping. I know. You didn't get the deal you wanted, but you did get the deal you deserved. Think of it this way, Exalted. You'll finally be with your great serpent. I'm curious, Outlander. What would you do with the Exalted Son? He could be his father's son. Could want revenge for his death. It would be a risk to let him live. Cautious. Unfettered by morality. Interesting. Do you hold any animosity towards me? For what? There's nothing to stop you from becoming the new Exalted now. I expect you to honor your end of our agreement. Of course. I can finally lead the Heralds to the glorious future we deserve. You will have your just rewards. Then leave. Probably not the condition you wanted to find me in. She was worried sick about you. What? I believe it. The lady knows all about the gravestone, what we're using it for. I told her that much. But she already knew a lot about you. You're the Lady of Sorrows. A droid? No, don't call her... I am no droid, Dark Lord. I'm an intelligence beyond comprehension. You may call me... Scorpio. I've come to Zakul to further my heuristic directive of self-improvement. This self-iteration is number 1084. The proposal put forth by your colleague intrigues me enough that I've decided to accompany you. Is that right? Continue operations in my stead. Annihilate the Heralds if you must. I will remain in touch. Very well. She's coming with us? Just like that? Watch this one. She's a bigger threat than Senya any day. Not exactly what I expected, but close. Shall we depart? Hold on. What did you expect? Only a slight deviation from expectations. There is no cause for concern. Why are you agreeing to help? I wish to speak to the Gravestone. I look forward to communicating with an intellect that rivals my own for a change. What about Arkin? He has something of mine. The severity of his error must be recognized. What did he take? Just asking. Fleet units 522, 865, and 983 will prepare for deployment. Combat protocols fully engaged. The Outlander will not escape us this time. All Gemini command units confirm. Preparations are already underway. <laughs> 